Wait, what? Hold him down. Wait, no! They had to break his arm. Oh! It's too late. He lost a brother to the madness. I get the money, I count it, I count it, I count it until I can't see. I spent a couple thousand on my bitch. These niggas be cheap. My brother almost died 18 times. All right, now listen. I got a little brother here and I got an older brother. I'm the middle child. Listen, my little brother ever got into anything, it's tussle time. But I'm gonna be real, bro. 18 times, I really gotta see how he almost died 18 times. Shout out Hamish for the reaction. If you're new to the channel, make sure you like, subscribe, comment. We do a lot of reactions right here. All right, let's get to the video, bro. You know, before we actually start, how y'all feel about the bonnet? I'm saying we thug it in the bonnet today. Oh my God! Woke up a little groggy, but that's okay. My boy Hamations. I never done one of these videos before. Um, if you guys enjoy Hamations, make sure you guys let me know in the comments if you guys want more of these because I never checked out any of his videos. So this will be my first time checking out Hamations. Let's get it. Oh, this is fire so far already. Is that a cookie? What is that? It look like his name Sherbert, like the little the little brown Z thingy. Oh, brother, this guy stinks. I don't know what hey, it is. Brenner, if you jump off this cliff right now, I'll give you. Yo, no hesitation. That is how I really be with little brothers, though. If that's his little brother. Hi, I'm Bryson, and a while okay. ago I made What's a up, video Bryson? about the times I almost died and the times I got hurt really bad. Right. <clears throat> but that got me thinking about the other injuries in my family, and one sibling came to mind. One who would dodge the grasp of death more times Oof. than I can count. The sibling who had Yo, nah, this time. animation is hard, bro. It's like an actual cartoon, like an actual full production. Nah, this is tough. his own mortality and would regularly hurt himself. The wild child, if you will. The, the wild child? Brother, Brenner. I don't this have a, a I don't have a wild child. Video, because Brenner gets injured a lot. Ugh. Cut out good stories or do a part two. So let's just sit down, relax, grab yeah, some popcorn, let, let do it. and laugh at my brother's pain. A little. Now, almost <laughs> all of Brenner's injuries were self-inflicted. However, I think it's only right we start the video with Brenner's very first injury, the one he got from me. Yo, Brenner yeah, I was about to say, you hurting him a lot. It seemed like this is something that he grew up with, just doing subconsciously. That boy is... I don't... Personally, I don't even have a wild... I don't think anybody... I think everybody's kind of wild. Like, I don't want to say, like, anybody in particular comes to mind when I think about the wild child, because... Each sing, each sibling, each cousin, everybody in my family is pretty crazy. Like, they all got a, a screw loose, but we all from Florida, so, I mean, it kind of makes sense. Brenner had recently been born, and my parents invited me into their room to say hi to my new baby brother. As I said hello to him, he no reached way. out his hand and scratched my chest. Ooh. Now, obviously, Brenner was just a baby. He had no control of his body and was just moving around. But my four-year-old brain could not let this slide. How so what did you do? dare you? First, you come into my house, mm. take my spot as mm. the youngest child, and uh -huh. take all the attention from my parents, and now this? I offered you my hand in friendship, and you attacked me. You must pay recompense for your actions. Hey! No way. No. Stop. No Just way. Calm down. Don't Is that Goku? Parents tried to stop me, but it was too late. <laughs> I reached out and scratched yeah. him back. He began to cry, and my parents put me in timeout. Yeah. Little did Brenner know, his pain had just begun. Okay, in all seriousness, pain just I began really is crazy. What I did. Even now, I still regularly apologize to Brenner about it. Yeah, that's so true. When I was a jit, I had somebody... Okay, I'm not going to tell the whole story, but uh, my siblings throw a lot of parties, and so there, I was like five one time at one of these parties. Not at one of these parties, but I was in the party because we was hosting it, and we was all dancing, and he picked me up, dropped me on my collarbone, and broke it, shattered it. And he always apologizes every time he see me, and that was like i don't know it's like just a couple like 15 years ago but he can't even remember it so he doesn't care brenner my conscience has really been getting to me lately and i'm so sorry about what i did dude that was 17 years ago can you just move <laughs> on i forgive you okay thank you i love you brenner i'm so glad i could get that off my chest <sighs> so yeah push him down the steps i see it coming i already <laughs> brody the door i already do yeah Apparently that experience runs in the family. Brody walked through a door as a young Brenner was sticking his fingers in the hinges and Brody slammed the door. Yo! If I had a nickel for every time I slammed a sibling's fingers in the door. He, yo, he gets the whole family involved in his videos? Oh, that's hard. Nah, he's different. I'd have two nickels. That isn't a lot, but it's weird that it Unless it's a twice. different voice actor. Luckily, Brenner's fingers didn't break and the doctors fixed him up. Feel better soon, buddy, and don't get into any more trouble. I will make no such promises. One time, me and Brenner were playing tag, and rather than be tagged by me, he jumped into a busy street and a car barely avoided him. What? Brenner nah. was more willing to I've had one of those incidents with my little brother as well. Die than lose at tag. Would you rather die a terrible death or- Definitely death. Wait, you didn't hear the other <laughs> option. <Death. laughs> 
I genuinely don't know why he is so accident prone, but this next story was no accident. You know Steven. how sometimes your mom has a really good friend, so she decides to make you hang out with her friend's children, but you- Yo, is he chuggy? Oh, nah. Sometimes they do be crazy, though. I can not think of friends that I went over. Every time I went over, it was something crazy always happening. You don't like them? Yeah. When I was younger- Never my mind. Mom... I was the friend. Every time somebody came over my house, it was something- You know it. So... They just don't get it, do they? Huh? It's nothing sweeter than getting over, man. <laughs> <laughs> me and Brenner to play with the neighbor kids, Jake and Steven. The main reason I didn't like Jake was because he said, Your sister is so hot. <laughs> Brittany was 18. Jake and I were eight. Have you considered shutting up? Anyways, I spent the day tolerating Jake's shenanigans, but eventually I hid from him on the front porch and watched Brenner and Steven play in the front yard. Come here, Brenner. I want to show you something. No way. Brenner walked up to him. No Steven way. Steven grabbed his hand, reached into his pocket, and pulled out a pair of scissors and started cutting Brenner's finger. What type of psychotic? Nah, yo, 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 I'm not gonna lie as an older brother, but I hope he got up and Hadouken the kid, because what in the world? Bro, you could have cut off. Yo, that's crazy. I ran over to them to check on Brenner. His fingers were bleeding, and he was crying. I slapped the scissors out of Steven's hand, and grabbed him by the arm, and forced him inside to his mom. Hey, Steven just cut Brenner's fingers with scissors. Hmm? <sighs> oh, Steven. What? That's it? I was shocked. Call my mom right now so she can pick us up. We're leaving. We left and Brenner's fingers healed just fine. But still, that reaction from the mom was not okay. Luckily, Yo, I never had nah, to go to that, that family's house Reminds me of another time Brody was really young. Nah, and scissors to the fingers. Punching him. Yo, My mom what? took the kid to his mom and told her that his son was hitting Brody. And all she did was say, <laughs> soft hands, Hunter. I mean, come on, soft hands? How about punch? Yeah, I would have, man. This is how different in the hood, bro. I go cap. You do that to somebody, listen, they be like, hey, hey, shoot the 30. Whoa, calm down, Jamal. You know what I'm saying? Y'all both put your hands up. Well, it depends if you street fight boxing, you know what I'm saying? Because it's just no way, bro. Like, yeah, nah. Punishing your kid for hitting a stranger. You clearly don't know how to discipline children. Here, I'll show you how it's done. <laughs> Wait, crazy on that shit. A lot jit. of Brenner's injuries were caused by him wanting to grow up fast and to keep up with his older brothers. For example, my turn. Let me get hit himself in the face. This happened to everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Bryson doesn't need training wheels on his bike, so neither do I. Yo, this is really some regular kid problems. You know, I don't want to sound like a, a, some type of way watching this, but it's like, bro, I had, the problems I had to deal with were so much more crazy. These are really like, I'm not going to say NPC problems, but dang, bro. Bro said training wheels, bro. The bike we got didn't have no training wheels. We got, actually, now nah, they did. Now that I think about it, the ones from Walmart. Stop the cap. <laughs> But then our training wheels wouldn't come off. Like we kept trying to take them off and it was like stuck on there. Man, whatever. A backflip? Let me try. Yeah. That's about little brother. Over with. Ugh, ah, yo, why you do that? Other brothers would follow, and the consequences were severe. This next story is the real reason I made this video. I'm honestly still surprised that Brenner survived this. It was bad. In our basement, we had a tall exercise machine that looked like this. Brenner decided that he wanted to climb it and jump off it onto our beanbag for fun. Yo, However, what? this time it went horribly wrong. Brenner pushed the beanbag close to the machine, climbed up, and jumped head first with the same head? His life that a Minecraft player has when seeing one block of water at the bottom of a cliff. Part of the beanbag covered the exercise bench, which extended out, hiding the big metal part underneath. Brenner thought that since there was part of the beanbag there, it would be soft. But it Yo, that's some jit shit to do. Yo, you really got to be a jit. Like, yo, like, that's crazy. No, I just thought about it, but that is pain. I mean, it's not better. No better. My little brother tried to 619 me off the couch. So, I mean, that that was pretty crazy. Because I don't know what he thought was going to happen. I just <laughs> stepped to the side. But... You got to be kidding me! <laughs> 
I digress. His head slammed through the beanbag into the metal part and he split his forehead wide open. <laughs> Mom and Brittany came running into Brunner crying with blood all over him. They freaked out and dashed him out of the house to take him to the hospital. I only caught a glimpse of him as they ran out, but I could tell it was bad. Brittany and Mom later told me that they could see Brenner's skull. Uh... My dad sent me to a friend's house so they could watch me while my parents took care of Brenner. I remember sitting on their stairs, terrified that I'd never see Brenner again. God, please hear my prayer. If you make Brenner be okay, I promise I'll never be mean to him again. Nah, Jesus, my boy. <laughs> At the hospital, That's since Brenner was so accident prone, they kept pointing to cuts on his head that were from previous shenanigans. Is this cut old or new? Is this cut old or new? Is this old or new? Finally, my Damn. sister was like, This, the gaping gash on his forehead, that is new. Forget the rest of it, fix that. Somehow the doctors patched him up. I think they even had a plastic surgeon involved in fixing his head. When I next saw Brenner, he was up on his feet with 25 stitches in his head. But he was okay. Phew! I thought you were gonna die, Brenner. I'm so glad you're okay. W story. Now you gonna throw anyway. him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Brenner still has a massive scar across his forehead, but thanks to the doctors, he was okay. Brenner, can you please calm down on the injuries? You're gonna die if you're not careful. It's not hard to die. I could do it like right now. But like number two. <laughs> Another time, a young Brenner was using That's the funny. bathroom and found a bottle of painkillers on the countertop. No way! He it in a sugary glaze to make them go down easier. So Brenner took the pills one by one and sucked on them till they ran out of sugar, Yo. then spat them out. He did this over and over and over, and from sucking on the pills, he got sick and passed out. I'm a tired. Ooh. Yeah, he was probably off My mom off discovered it. Brenner unconscious on the bathroom floor surrounded by... <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Yo! I would lose it, bro. You, Bro, she probably think he OD'd, not as a mother. Nah, he was probably a handful growing up. Oh, nah. Nah. <laughs> and once again, the doctors proved why it's good to go to college. N not for me, though. But as for you guys, good for you. I don't know yeah, how facts. they saved him, honestly. I don't really know how doctors work. For all I know, they could have removed all of Brenner's blood, Damn. which was tainted with drugs, thrown it away, then pumped him up with fresh blood. I don't know. Another time, he swallowed a bunch of coins, and again, what? my parents rushed him to the hospital where he was x-rayed to show a pile of coins in his stomach. They told my poor parents to dig through his, ahem, waste until they got all the coins. He was like a piggy bank, but way more that disgusting. That is, yo. Oh, yeah. He was like a piggy bank, but way more disgusting. Honestly, with how often Brenner visited the hospital, I'm surprised they didn't have a special section of the hospital just for him. This next story is surprisingly the only time that Brenner has ever broken a bone. You would think at this point that he would have no bones left because of how often he gets hurt, but nope, he still has bones. My family has a small motorcycle that we call Big Bertha. Right. It's fun to ride around on, but it has no suspension. It is two wheels and a motor, that's it. One day, Brenner was driving it, and despite knowing that Big Bertha had no suspension, he decided to ride it off a curb. Yo. The bike bounced, Brenner swerved and lost control, and he went head over handlebars. Yo, what type of life? Yo, Brenner, what's wrong with you, cuz? Yo, deal. He landed on his arm and totally snapped his wrist. One hospital trip later, and Brenner had a cast. He wanted his cast to be unique, so he asked me to paint it to look like Thanos' gauntlet. So I got the paint out and painted it as best I could to look like the gauntlet. That's it looked tough. pretty cool in my opinion. But then later, Brenner's arm got itchy. The doctors told him that his arm would be itchy at first, but that if he ignored it, the itchiness would go away. They also specifically told him to leave the cast alone and to not shove anything into the cast to try and scratch his itch. However, the itch got the better of Brenner. So without consulting anyone, he grabbed Brody's glasses and started shoving the long end into his cast in an attempt to scratch his itch. He pulled the glasses out only to realize that the little rubber covering had slipped off and it was now stuck in the cast. Determined to scratch his itch and recover the rubber cover, Brenner somehow removed all of the soft wrappings underneath the cast, leaving only the hard outer shell. Yo, he is insane. Brenner had scratched his itch and was satisfied. Then mom walked in and saw what Brenner had done. <laughs> 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 
Nah, what? Yeah, you just gotta ignore the whoopings at that point. They went back to the hospital and explained the situation. Can you imagine being a doctor and setting someone up with a nice cast to help them heal, and the next thing you know, they ruined it? I feel like the maid. I just cleaned up this mess. Can we keep it clean for, for 10 minutes? <laughs> they had to cut off his Thanos cast and make another one for him. Brenner got home and asked me to paint his new cast. No, I spent a lot of time painting that last one and you ruined it. How do I know you won't ruin it again? Come on, man, just paint it again. Why, why should I be penalized because of your sloppiness? So Brenner went around wearing a lame blue cast rather than a cool Thanos cast. Mm. A few months later, the doctors took off the cast and they realized that Brenner's arm had healed crooked. It was literally oh. like a 15 degree angle. My mom pointed this out and no. the doctor said, Yeah, well, it's within the range of crookedness that we consider to be acceptable, so oh, we're just going to leave it like that. <laughs> what? That's easy for you to say. You're not the one who has to live with a crooked arm. Fix his arm and do it right this time. So the doctors explained that in order to fix it, they would have to re-break Brenner's uh, arm, angle it correctly, and recast it. Do it. Wait, what? Hold them down. Wait, no. They had to break his arm. Oh! They did that, and Brenner's arm eventually healed correctly, but not without pain. Now, you would think that after breaking his arm on Big Bertha, the Yo, that would is never crazy. touch that thing again, right? Nope. Let me tell you one last story. One day, me and Brian. Yo, I didn't even know that your arm could heal cricket. That kind of just made me feel some type of way. I'm glad I never really broke. I broke one bone, but that's it. Board and decided to go for a ride. Him broke, on Big never broke my arm and my leg. We chased each other around a parking lot, but then I thought, how can I make racing around more interesting? And my mind went to my favorite racing game. Mario Kart. No way. You know, Throw the things at each other. Destroy your enemies by throwing items at yeah, them. Yeah, that's. So I decided to drive by Brenner and throw my flip flops at him. We went back and forth throwing flip flops at each other like green shells for some time. Then I zoomed by and got a good flip flop strike on Brenner, and he wanted to retaliate with something <laughs> stronger. Yo, he's he crazy. A big tree branch Yo, what? Me. He swung the branch and I swerved out of the way. But the branch was so heavy that swinging it threw Brenner off balance. He swerved and yeah. flew over the handlebars once more. Again! <laughs> Freaking again! <laughs> Brenner Yo. was scraped and bruised, but luckily nothing broke. And he finally learned his lesson, and he doesn't drive Big Bertha anymore. But I do. <laughs> Here we are at the end of the video, and yet... That's not even all of Brenner's injuries, but if I keep talking about them, this video is going to be 30 minutes long, and at that time, he'll probably injure himself again. Let's quickly get through some last stories. Lightning round. All right, we okay. visited a janky aquarium that let you swim with sharks, and a bamboo shark bit Brenner's face. Yo. Brenner went to a park, attempted a stupid trick, and landed on his head, and had to uh, for a few weeks. Yo. Brenner and Brody went kayaking. Brody tried to splash Brenner with the paddle, but it skipped off the water, slammed into Brenner's face, and cracked his front teeth. A car almost backed over him Dude, as a child. Dude, what? He hung onto the bumper while being dragged, and my yo, that okay? Now this one is crazy. Yo, and they kept, he didn't scream no nothing, dog. I've never been in so many like, just so many situations like this, like up, like head on. Not yeah, Mr. what? The car to save him. His friend accidentally shot him in the forehead with a BB gun, and his forehead still has a dent. In conclusion, Dude, Brenner's guardian what? angel is built different because she has saved Brenner more times than I can count. And as much as I make fun of him, I am grateful for that. As he has grown, I think he has gotten a little less accident prone. Let's hope it keeps going in that direction, because I'm pretty sure he has used up all of his nine lives. God has sent his soul back to the living world so many times at this point that if Brenner shows up there again, God might just say, oh, forget it, and keep him. Well, hey, it could be worse. At mm. least his soul is going to heaven. Yo, what? Hey, guys, it's me. I wonder why he says that. Oh, he has a whole team? Damn. Your favorite Bryson. Thanks for watching. It's been a while, so let me make some announcements. I'm a featured creator at VidCon this year, and I hope to see you oh, there. Oh, he's a featured a creator. TikTok okay. Now. Go check it out. We also started doing YouTube shorts. Thank oh, wait, nah, this is team. This is team. Thanks so much for the positive feedback on those. The first short I posted is now the most viewed video on the channel. Thanks a ton for that. We have two teams. Yeah, they're going crazy. If you guys enjoyed that right there, make sure you guys slap the like button. Let me know. Bucking? B Make sure you guys slap the like button. Let me know what else you guys want me to react to down below in the comment section. This was funny, bro. He he makes some five videos. His little brother is low-key a maniac, bro. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Peace out.